Welcome on YouTube, welcome back to the Chef Flowers YouTube channel. Um, for those who don't know, my name is Travis Flowers, also known as Chef Flowers. And today, as the title suggests, we'll be getting to know a little bit about me. I posted a Q&A the other day, uh, which should pop up in the screen somewhere. And um, you guys ask some questions down in the comment box and on my story. And today I'm going to answer them for you. So, let's get into it. Our first question. And it comes from Taylor. So big up yourself, my girl. Love and I appreciate the support. Trust me. Um, it's been a while, so link up. But anywho, her question is, what made you want to become Chef Flores Boy? Um, I won't say necessarily wanted to become Chef Flores Boy, and it's never really like in the books, but um, when I changed my diet for the most part, I learned how you know good it was for the environment and um, you know, that mind you, and that's also very geographic specific as it relates to having a vegetarian or plant-based diet as a sustainable diet, but that's something we'll get into another video. But anywho, um, yeah, I love food, uh, really passionate about environmental conservation and climate change awareness. So through that, um, I wanted to then share the fact that sustainable Caribbean delicious recipes can be made without meat and wanted to share them online so people can see and like see how easy it was you know it wasn't really like some drastic life change you kind of get to, you get to use the same spices the same ingredients that you would just minus the animal product and um through that i mean <laughs> here we are today right and i'm so blessed to you know to be here actually getting the interface with you guys i have an ebook i mean it's it's great it's great you know to kind of exude my passion with food and environmentalism together so yeah, thanks. Th thank you guys, I, honestly. The next question is from Danny, my cousin. Big up yourself, cuz um, belated birthday again. Uh, her question is, when I go back home, does my family necessarily accommodate my plant-based diet or lifestyle or whatever? And um, honestly, they do. And, like, they know I love to cook and they know I love like food as an art and everything. Um, I guess their only concern is like, you know, if I still eat fish, <laughs> obviously. But... Um, yeah, that's a common question. You still eat fish, right? Everybody's heard that one before. Um, but yeah, they, they do, honestly. Especially my dad, you know, he, he calls me beforehand. He's like, you know, is there anything we need to get you at the supermarket or whatever? Um, but a lot of the time, I try to just, you know, go and make sure that I shop very local um, products only and stuff like that. And if I can, you know, I try to inspire them. Like, you know, I'll cook them a nice meal and, you know, share that experience with them so they can then make it when I'm gone. Um, but yeah, a far-fetched idea of <laughs> them make it when I'm gone, but, but all in all, yes, they, they do accommodate my, um, my lifestyle. So, the next few questions are from Justine, uh, this is at I am Justine Universe, so big up yourself. Long time y'all follow me, you know, and long time y'all support the thing, so trust me, y'all know my one, big up yourself. Um, so yeah, she has a few questions, I'm just gonna try to reel them off real quick. Are you a certified chef? No, I am not. Um, I used to manage a kitchen and some friends owned a Jamaican catering services called Backyard Grill. So if you know, you know, big up yourself, Kasha, Dines, Dito, one love. Um, next question is, what schools did you attend? So um, I went to Teamwork, um, that's in Coral Gardens, Montego Bay. Um, I went to Montego Bay Prep from there and then to Cornwall College, CC. Big up, all the CC among them, um, don't know. And I went to Montego Bay Community College after that, and now I am at Howard University in Washington, D.C. So, yeah, graduating in May, hopefully, if this coronavirus thing don't mess that up completely. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, so I'm getting to the next question. But yeah, this, is, this stuff is crazy. Um, so, you say I'm not vegan anymore, and advice on going back. Um, you have to know why, whatever reason it is that you decided that you don't want to be vegan anymore. Um, you know, you have to kind of figure out if that reason is enough for you to, you know, keep going along that track. But honestly, live your life that is best to your happiness and your mental just health in general. If it is that being vegan or whatever kind of puts certain strains on you, I totally understand. And, um... I would say just try to eat as sustainably as possible, you know, maybe eat more veggies than meat or, you know, 60-40 split, whatever way you figure it out, 
um, yeah, just make sure you're still getting those veggies in because they do help reduce your personal carbon footprint. Um, I know that you're in Jamaica, so obviously our meat production system is in no way as harmful as the international meat market. But um, yeah, I would say still, regardless, even for health points and just taking in all of the nutrients and vitamins, having a high dense like um, whole food diet, I would definitely recommend that still if you can. So yeah, no pressure. You don't necessarily need to be 100% plant-based, you know, just any reduction of meat is beneficial. So big up yourself. And thank you for asking that. I'm very honest with you. Uh, the next one is, uh, what is your favorite color? Mine is yellow. Um, mine is blue, actually. Typical boy color, but to be specific, my favorite color is royal blue. Uh, your last question was, did you lose friends going vegan? Actually, I made friends. I made so much friends. So, yo, big up man like Berto. Uh, big up Danny, damn good vegan. Big up Jessica, love vegan soul. I tag everybody's Instagram down below. But um, it's amazing how many strangers that you would meet just kind of entering a new community. And I really love that aspect about it. Everybody's really cool, you know, everybody shares recipes and stuff like that. And just real people, you get to meet people who are like you, Jamaicans, like Jamrock vegan chick, vegan Jamaican. Uh, big up on yourself. Like, this is an amazing opportunity. Um, and I'm so blessed to have it. I'm so blessed to have met all of you, honestly. Um, next question is, and I believe this is actually the, oh no, lie, not last question. So, have you found a vegan cheese that's honestly good enough for pizza or macaroni and cheese? And this is from Serena, I believe it is Serena. Her Instagram is she is vegetarian. Um, yes, um, honestly, I have, and, um, is it gonna be like regular mac and cheese? No, nothing is gonna be like that. Let's be completely honest. Nothing is gonna be like that. But um, follow your heart, and um, I think it's field roasts, field field roasts chow cheese. Those cheese are actually really good if you want to make like a nice cheese sauce for a macaroni. Um, I know Follow Your Heart has a nice cheddar as well, but there are definitely brands out there that I personally haven't tried yet that I think are good. I see people really talking about them a lot. But, um, you know people make like cashew mac and cheese, but I don't necessarily consider that a cheese product. It's kind of like, a, you know, you're trying to make a cheese sauce, but, um, yeah. Chow cheese and, um, follow your heart cheddar. But yes, it's definitely not going to be like what you want at Christmas, but it's pretty good. It is pretty good. So I'll definitely give that a try. Next question is from my friend Gabby. Yo, big up yourself, me G. And she says, what non-vegetarian dish do you miss the most and how do you deal with the craving? Um, so this is kind of easy. So Jamaican food in DC is very good. Um, well, okay, no, let me, let me take that back. It's, it's, uh, it's all right. It's all right. So places like Spice, Places like the place that uh, me and my friends used to own back here at Grill. We made quality Jamaican food here in the DMV. And I think food like fried chicken, curry gravy, jerk pork, stew pork, um, those I miss the most. Um, and also having access to like fresh fish that was, caused, that was caught that day. Like the most sustainable way that you could consume fish basically. Um, I do miss having that the most. A nice steamed fish, fried fish with some bami man, oh god. And there's no there's no way to replicate those things. I'm sorry. I don't care what your vegan Jamaican jerk chicken is, that's not that's not it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you're not you're not achieving those levels. But um in short, to handle those cravings, they're not available. So <laughs> the product I want is not available, so it's just like what am I gonna do? Um, but otherwise stuff like curry or um, like stew peas that I love, you know, I have those recipes. All those recipes are actually in my ebook here. And I love Aki and obviously, luckily, Aki is vegan and very good for you. Well, obviously in moderation. Well done. Um, but yeah, using the spices and flavors and seasonings that I use for meat-based recipes back home kind of just fills that gap a lot of the time. And like I'll make a stew peas and you're like, boy, Jano, that stew peas I need a pig's tail. But it doesn't. You end up enjoying it anyway because most of the flavor profile that came from the meat-based one, I implement in the plant-based one. 
whether I use smoked paprika to get that smokiness from the pig's tail or whatever it is that I do. Um, that's the kind of point that I want to drive forward. Like, you know, you can infuse these flavors into your food and kind of just get that, get that enjoyment, get that emotional connection that you're looking for um, in the dish. It's possible. All right, guys, I think that's all that we have for today. So thank you for watching. Thank you for asking the questions. Thank you for creating this whole thing. And if you haven't yet, please check out my ebook, um, Vegan by Chef Lord Boy, on Amazon.com. And um, I look forward to seeing you soon. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and stay safe out there. Keep your hands clean. Avoid contact with people. If you can't stay inside for those traveling, please stay safe. And um, thanks again, guys. See you soon.